A uh, troublesome floating bog near Brainerd caused more trouble today when it refused to budge. The bog on North Long Lake is blocking access to the Legionville Swimming Beach. We were there early this morning as volunteers got started with their plan to move the bog by using boats and bobcats. Bill Hudson shows us what happened next. Well, as you might imagine, there is no instruction book on moving these floating bogs. So as the plan they'd worked on all winter long didn't succeed, it was on to plan B. Covered in cattails and lined with tamaracks, this giant bog is an unwelcome guest. Floating free from North Long Lake last fall, coming to rest along Legionville's lake shore. It's going to be work. Just like plowing a field by hand and you know how they used to get the stumps out with horses, it's going to be work. So with motorboats tugging and heavy equipment pushing from shore, they'd hope to budge the stubborn bog away. But it wasn't to be. You just got to keep being creative. And we tried a bunch of creative magic balloons and it's just not going to work. A drop in the lake level means the bog, several football fields in size, is snagged. So they devise another approach and cut the bog in two. Well, the only way to kick it is to actually work. So a mini hole on a pontoon, break it up smaller pieces, and let's get the kids to the beach back. Clearly, moving this giant floating bog is going to take a lot more work and a lot more equipment. But right now, there's a six-week backlog on those floating barges that they'll need to work from. So apparently, moving this bog, it's going to take a back seat to getting those docks and boat lifts in. Near Merrifield, Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News.